So that was a sample of how Carnatic music may be played on this. Uh, I have not done a very, a very effective job of juxtaposing the, uh, posing the string, the use of the strings, but uh, I'm also wearing a new kind of pick which is not working out. This is as always a work in progress, but it's probably one of the hardest instruments to play in the world. It's also, uh, I would say that, uh, I mean, I'm not uh, sloppy in picking up instruments. I can pick up instruments and play something effectively. But this one's been really challenging. And I've been making constant technical improvements uh, to, to the design. Uh, there are visual cues. In another demo, I'll explain the relative difficulties of various instruments and do a, do a demo also of this. But uh, that the primary thing uh, the Chitra Venu, it's got a scale length, if you like, from Shadja to Shadja word, 8 inches. So, uh, it's, as I said, the scale length is, uh, is extremely short. So, the Chitra uh, Venu is not just a, ch a wind version of Chitra Veena. And in addition, there are uh, 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 other problems. When you pluck a string, any string, you are guaranteed of a certain pitch. But when you blow a flute-like instrument, you are not guaranteed the pitch, intended pitch. So, when I blow this, This sa, depending on the, the effectiveness, the feebleness or the strength of my blow can be anything like So I can play or Both are wrong So Ditto with this. That doesn't come very easily. So, uh, uh, so in, at least in the flute, if you close two holes, you are assured of shadja, basically. Then you only have to adjust the blow so that you get the intended shadja. Here, the position is amorphous. Just like your sliding instrument, laps like guitar or chitravina. But at least when you pluck, you are not worried. I mean, you can pluck hard, soft, but you, you get your intended pitch. So here we are managing like a tightrope walk, two levels of variables. So it is, it is more difficult at three levels, at the level of excitation and blowing, and then at the level of uh, uh, um, uh, adjustment because the scale length is so short, it's just eight inches. That is in the nature of a wind, col a wind column. A wind column of a certain pitch uh, is of a certain length. In, uh, we, we don't have many variables to adjust. The density of air is fixed, the velocity of sound in air is fixed. Whereas uh, with strings, you can play with gauges and tensions. So that changes the, uh, the standing wave equation completely. To make the playing easier over the years, I've had tried all kinds of things, but the visual element is very important. The other very important problem with this is muscle memory is really hard to develop on this because the ergonomics of the slide so I, can, I, I should be able to put my hand on any part of the slide uh, for proper ergonomic action so there is no quest there is only a fuzzy muscle memory so suppose I had like a, I could put my finger here so every time I come this this, this is the position of the male saw, but that's not the case. I put it anywhere. So it's like playing 
the MSG single finger uh, violin on the uh, board, except that it's fuzzy and it can be anywhere. See, I change my finger position, so then he into a different position. So it has to be, and I experimented with trying to have single finger position to develop muscle, but it's not effective because the shoulder movement. And any more complex mechanism removes the simplicity out of the instrument. So that's it. So, but is all this possible? Yes, I believe I'm demonstrating that something is possible to come out of this. And the goal going forward is to play both these segments effectively. I mean, I have practically uh, zero pedagogical training in Carnatic music or any other genre. Uh, which doesn't prevent me from trying out things. Uh, so it would be a combination of the string and um, and the flute. So it's a very good juxtaposition of a completely amorphous sliding thing and a very discrete set of strings. So I actually love the combination. While playing it, it's really exhilarating because this is this gives you complete freedom. Uh, I had to evolve a playing technique where the sahitya can be enunciated clearly. Of course, I'm trying to play music with less sahitya, like khayal and stuff like that, but still you have to. So if you say like, uh, uh, Karavira Malika, if you want to enunciate a phrase like that, you can't go. You have to use your tongue to articulate. Each time we do that, we articulate the phrase with the tongue. It's uh, Otherwise, this becomes... Flute itself is a very amorphous instrument with poor definition. This is like amorphous on steroids because uh, apart from the fact that it's a, it's a flute, it's also a sliding flute. So in, in a sliding uh, string instrument, you have the pluck. In the, in the place of pluck, uh, I've, art, uh, I've developed a, a strong tonguing technique and uh, some virtuoso techniques are also possible. See, at the, at the face of it, uh, this is not a very virtuosic instrument, but you can like practice. Suppose you're doing some tanam in Shankarabhanam or virtu virtuosic tanam or Who would have thought that was possible? Sarigama Padanisa. No, on a sliding instrument. So you basically calibrate the velocity of the slide and cut the notes with your tongue as they come along. Sarigama Padanisa. So these are some virtuosic techniques that are uh, developing. It's like if you are playing with a slide instrument, like you, you. You slide without a break, but try to find the pluck at the correct instances where you want your notes to be articulated. Every minute I'm trying to figure out something new with the design, with the, with the music, the genre and everything else. But I don't expect to be playing too much Carnatic music, I mean, in the sense that... Also, the Carnatic type of gamakas, particularly the, the spuritam, is very hard. Uh, for example, this phrase You have to practice real. I don't know, I guess I got good at this uh, instrument over the years. But see, even in Maya Mala Gaulai, one of the hardest phrases to play in Maya Mala Gaulai is because that has to hit that sa precisely. You can't have nida or you can't like. Uh, so to get this uh, slide to the precise point, that's okay. That's too uh, too sharp. That's too this thing. If I don't play it with the precision, it'll be... <laughs> What's that? Doesn't work. So you have to modulate your breath so that... 
so that you sync with the shruti so this is not for the this instrument is definitely not for the faint of shruti at some future demo i'll also talk about the tuning systems and various things that can be used here this is the this is the box with which the 22 strings should be demonstrated and at some time i'll do that too uh but thanks for watching if you got this far thanks for watching and watch this space thank you <laughs>